So hello guys and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk a bit about everything that we are currently using to make ourselves some sweet returns. If it's yield farming, if it's landing, uh, we got you covered today. We're also talking a bit about ATEM and uh, what's on their blockchain, what we currently are eyeing. And if that sounds interesting, well, I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out quite a lot. And without further ado, let's get started. And on today's mission is a bit the Juno item one because we are still over here um, receiving some sweet rewards and I did not exit the position as you may have felt uh, and we also know that in around 38 days uh, there will be a halving of Juno so the current percentage of 75% uh, will definitely um, go by half and you need to think that currently most liquidity that is being supplied is Juno and Atom. Uh, we have some liquidity backing it up with stable coins being USDC and also some other coins, but we are mainly focused on uh, Juno Atom because in my humble opinion, the impermanent loss is not that high, obviously. If you are choosing Juno USDC, you are going to suffer more from impermanent loss rather than all the other pools because stable coins definitely uh, keep their value most of the time if we don't talk about UST obviously they keep their value uh, and if that's the case and the other token moves up or down you're going to lose a lot USDC and for Juno and Atom it's almost balanced because they go up the same most of the times because it's the same blockchain and it's the same principle but over here you can see the estimated returns by the way and also the rewards that we have received at the moment it's around 5 Juno and 102 War. War is a Juno Swap native token, which is a governance token, and that's actually not too bad regarding that we only uh, put in 1000 at the beginning. And you need to consider that we already survived the dump with this position almost, and we are only $537 in. And if you <coughs> remember the rewards we already claimed which was around 40 to 50 bucks we put that into the liquidity as well so you need to think if the prices go back up where they were before the crash we are already in profit and that's definitely something i like to see uh, because yeah, obviously the current market situation we cannot influence it uh, we can only do the best out of it and i'm currently looking into assets which uh, will boost my portfolio in the long term not the short term and for the long term one pick for me is juno because uh, it has a lot of opportunities and the next thing we already talked about it once in the video where i actually uh, showed you that there is a new airdrop and currently they actually do some interesting stuff you have some staking over here and we obviously need to view the validators and it is a bit like um, yeah, governance you know how governance works you need to select obviously your validator which you trust and uh, which you yeah look the commissions the best for you so five percent is five percent you have here 100 percent commissions obviously uh, that you're not going to receive any rewards and if it comes to governance they are very active uh, what i need to say can see how often they are starting a new proposal and that's actually uh, something which I like to see regarding uh, the network itself because you need to think it's another IBC network uh, which is EVMOS and it is a bit different uh, for all the ATEM networks what they are obviously doing um, but you need to look into that uh, yourself because I'm just presenting you this method because my community actually uses uh, even most they actually pointed that out to me so that's why I'm uh, showcasing it <coughs> too and we already received the airdrop and everything went well with that so I'm having no problem at all talking about it and also now moving over on to the war blockchain which we also have a lot of uh, different projects currently that we are in uh, the main focus most likely will be origami in the short term for myself um, 
because you can actually obviously if prices go down get yourself some nice positions without using your main uh, collateral and you can do that by taking out a loan obviously uh, you can deposit all the other assets that you can see over there and then borrow and receive <coughs> tokens also on that as well as using that money to uh, freely move around on the blockchain but obviously don't over leverage yourself but with that strategy you can actually also increase your yield and get yourself some more money to uh, work with but obviously i only do that if you're planning on buying serious project and not uh, intending to yield farm with it because if you're going and uh, go ahead and yield farm with it most of the time it could work out for the short term but in the long term um, doing that strategy and you pick one wrong farm and your money could be gone so i will not pick that risk but obviously this is for the safer play that's why the returns are not that high and moving over to solaris uh, that staking page because it is simply amazing seeing that you get USD rewards and getting USD rewards is way better than receiving anything else and that's one thing why I'm keep increasing my tree position uh, at the moment it's worth 47 bucks it's not that much but I take some of the money we earned from Polaris and put that obviously into tree as well as into Aurora and that's why you see me use origami and solaris more in the future uh, because most rewards we receive also from pink pea if we are not going to uh, compound them we are selling them to get ourselves some uh, cheap aurora and cheap tree solaris obviously uh, we also buy some more juno uh, moving on and also uh, one project which i want to focus myself on uh, but i'm still unsure uh, what they exactly do, but I heard it mentioned a lot, the Stargaze, uh, which is also an IBC network over an ATEM. And currently I look at projects which are very cheap and looks where the bottom is in. And currently it feels like it is at the bottom, but regarding the market cap and trading volume, it's not that much. So obviously take that with a grain of salt. Um, that's why I don't talk about them yet and because I still didn't do my research about that project yet uh, but obviously we will do that in the near future and for Polaris we are still farming Polar <coughs> around 16 bucks uh, since last time we claimed and we are also farming some EVE uh, seven bucks since we last claimed and obviously the Earth Polar is moving a bit up in price as well 215 bucks which is not bad at all and yeah if you look obviously at the Bitcoin price which is hovering over 20,000 it's kind of close I would take that obviously with a grain of salt as well and not to go in that heavy and just dollar cost average yourself into a position instead of washing it but yeah that's everything for today hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and goodbye